Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us today. So today's webinar is going to discuss about building cross-platform native apps in a single code base with Zamarin and Crosslight. And along with me today, we have Nicholas, Andre, and Jimmy from Intersoft Solutions. Nicholas here will give you a brief run through about Crosslight and the duration would be around 60 minutes. Now, just before we begin the webinar, just a couple of housekeeping details for you. So the webinar will be fully recorded and presentation slides will be available to download in our blog, which you can access at intersoftpt.wordpress.com. During the webinar, you can ask any question that you may have and you can see the question box on your right hand side. So if you just type your question there and we will answer it in the Q&A session at the end. All your microphones technically will be muted. So any question that you do have, you can simply put them in the box provided. And as I said, there will be a Q&A session at the end. So we make sure all of those will get answered for you. So I'm now going to pass over Nicholas and he will just give you a brief overview of Crosslight. Well, hello everyone. Thank you, Martin. Let's go over the agenda. First, we'll see an overview of Crosslight. Then we'll go over Crosslight in architectural and technological point of view. We will also see code level comparison to see the difference if you use Crosslight and native code directly. I will also explain the Crosslight project structure and how Crosslight works using a simple tip calculator app sample. Afterwards, we'll see the benefits of using Crosslight and also what we have in store for next Crosslight roadmap. We will close the webinar using the Q&A session. In the mobile first world, as a developer, there's a need for mobile first approach in software development. Coming from c -sharp background, we expect to find a cross-platform tool that can address today's mobile development challenges, such as being able to target multiple platforms at once. The code needs to have high reusability and the framework needs to be able to produce apps that provide great native user experiences. It also needs to be highly extensible as well as loosely coupled components so that developers can easily create their own components and plug into the Crosslight framework. Introducing Crosslight. A cross-platform framework that allows you to create native apps across four major mobile platforms using c -sharp. Crosslight is a mobile framework and toolset which introduces a whole new level of cross-platform mobile development that emphasizes simplicity, efficiency, maintainability, reusability, and extensibility. You can write your code once and target any platforms natively using c -sharp including iOS, Android, Windows Phone 8, and Windows 8, therefore enabling rapid line of business mobile apps development. Thanks to the wealth of business components and time-saving features, it's not just a framework. Crosslight also provides comprehensive user interface components, mobile services, and tooling support. Let's take a quick look at a sample that you can build across multiple platforms using Crosslight. This is a simple inventory sample that runs on multiple platforms using a single code base. This is on Windows Phone. And this one on Windows 8. One is on iOS. Okay. 
Currently, there are four major, major mobile platforms in the mobile development world, iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and Windows 8. Thanks to Xamarin, we are now able to create Android and iOS apps natively using c -sharp. As Xamarin's enterprise partner and Microsoft VSIP, we are proud to introduce that we are the first cross-platform framework in the world built on top of Xamarin's platform and we have successfully bridged all four major mobile platforms into the cross-light framework. So, you as developers, will only need to focus on creating rich apps for your business. At the heart of Crosslight is the portable class library. Then we have the Xamarin Mono and Microsoft.net. On top of it, we have platform abstractions. This includes Crosslight for iOS, Crosslight for Android, and Crosslight for Windows Phone, and also Crosslight for Windows 8. Lastly, we have the native mobile platforms that runs the code natively. Developers coming from the .NET world, especially Silverlight and Windows Presentation Foundation, will be familiar with the MVVM concept. MVVM itself stands for Model, View, and View Model. The MVVM concept is powerful because the view model knows nothing about the view, and it allows for loosely coupled programming. In the view model layer, we have the binding providers, commands, properties and fields, mobile services, as well as data access layers, which will be bound to the model, as well as bound to the view layer. In the view layer, we have activity for Android, UI view controller for iOS, and page for Windows Phone. Let's take a look at a code level comparison. Say we have a screen with a button that shows a dialog when clicked. Normally, you would do this in a very tightly coupled fashion with the view. So in iOS, you would have the UI view controller and in the view did load method, you would have a button with touch up inside event that shows the UI alert view. And for Android, you would have an activity, override the on create event, find a button by ID and handle the click event and show the alert dialog. Same goes with Windows Phone. You will have a page with reference to the button and handle the click event to show the message box. Let's compare when we use Crosslight. The previous IS code becomes totally empty, leaving only the import binding attribute that defines the binding provider to be used with the UI view controller. Note that the UI view controller consumes the hello world view model, and on Android, will create an activity that consumes the same view model and uses the same import binding attribute that defines the same binding provider used in iOS. On Windows Phone, you will still consume the same view model but in a different way. You would define the view model using the view model type attribute. Notice that we didn't specify any binding providers here as Windows Phone supports MVVM by default. So we can just bind the view model in the XAML page. And lastly, the hello world view model only has a delegate command which will be bound to each platform. We introduced the binding provider because Android and iOS does not support MVVM by default. This acts as a bridge between the view and the view model. This way, you can extract all your business processes into the view model so that your app becomes more maintainable and has a single centralized code base. This way, you can share the same domain layer, service and data layer, business layer, UI interaction layer in the same code base, leaving only the unshareable app native layer which is the view for each platform. 
which means XML files for Android, uh, XIB files for iOS, and XAML for Windows Phone and Windows 8. This translates to 96% of code reusability and only around 3.3% of unshareable code. Let's take a look of how a cross-light solution looks like. In a cross-light solution, we'll have each platform specific projects and a single shared portable class library project or PCL <coughs> that is referenced by all platform specific projects. The core projects consist of shareable assets, binding providers, view models, extensions, and app services. I will explain how to use Crosslight to build a simple tip calculator. For our app, we'll have three <coughs> input text boxes, which takes the bill amount, tip percentage, and the number of people. Then we have three output labels, the tip amount, the total amount, and the total per person. After you have successfully installed Mobile Studio, you'll be able to use the Crosslight Project Wizard to quickly jumpstart your application development using Crosslight. Right now, we have four templates that you can use Blank, Navigation, Master Detail, and the Tab Template with Live Previews. You can use Crosslight Project Wizard in trial mode for 30 days, let us try to create a master detail application. Let's try to run the Windows Phone first. Then let's try to run the Windows RT version. I will copy this to my Mac so that I can run Android version and iOS version as well. Let's try to run this project on an iPad. Now let's try to run the Android project on a tablet. To create a simple tip calculator, you will need to create a view model first. I have prepared a simple tip calculator app ready beforehand but I will explain the process step by step so that you can understand the flow of creating mobile apps using Crosslight. So at the simple view model, we have several properties that represents the inputs and outputs of the text boxes and the labels, and also a delegate command. For the button, at the constructor, I've given it a default value. Afterwards, we need to create each platform level views that will consume this view model. Let us take a look at the iOS platform. First, we will need to create the UI view controller, then inject the view model type. I've overridden a property here that allows me to immediately close the keyboard on tap. 
we see that this UI view controller is using the simple tip calculator view. Let's take a look at the XIB file. So looking at the header file, all you need to do is create the views and set the outlet for each view. Then the next question is, what connects the view model to the view? The answer is the binding provider. Using the outlets specified earlier, you can then specify the outlets, the outlet IDs and the bindable properties you want to bind to the view model. Let's try to run this project. Same goes with Android. You will need to create an activity that consumes the view model and use the same binding provider, which means you have to provide an EXML layout with the same Android IDs specified for each. First, let's try to run this project. In Windows Phone and Windows 8, it's even simpler as it supports binding by default. You will only need to create the page that binds to the property directly to the view model. Then, on the code behind, you will only need to specify the view model type attribute that takes in the view model. Same goes with Windows 8. It's that easy. With all user interaction logic in a single code base, the coding and platform specific view has been significantly reduced to only thin class definition. You have seen how quickly we can create a cross platform simple tip calculator app using Crosslight. Therefore, you can maximize developer productivity, allowing you to market your app faster. If you come from .NET background, you should be familiar with the design patterns we introduced in Crosslight, allowing you to quickly use Crosslight with minimal learning curves, and therefore leveraging existing investment in Microsoft technologies. Not only data binding features you have seen just now, Crosslight is fully packed with features that we need to elaborate in detail, perhaps in a separate webinar. You can easily create forms using simple attribute-based definition at the model layer. It also comes with data validation support. You can also introduce your own custom editors with over 25 built-in editors supported, all designed according to each platform's UI guidelines. In the view model, you can also call built-in mobile services that comes with Crosslight. You can take pictures and videos with a camera, crop photos and obtain the result, get current location and monitor location changes, compose email easily with attachment, share to social networks, make phone calls, and much more. As Crosslight is fully extensible in nature, 
Using the state-of-the-art dependency delegation, we can introduce our own custom services, presenters, editors, and view builders right into Crosslight. Say, for example, you don't like the default toast presenter that comes with Crosslight for Windows Phone, you can easily introduce your own presenter that shows the message in a different fashion. Let us take a look at some other samples that comes with Crosslight installations. Let's take a look at the translucent style. We ship navigation drawers to Android and iOS because we see that the navigation drawer is a common mobile, mobile navigation pattern but only found in Android and iOS platforms. Let's try to run this. So as you can see, we support the native translucent blur found in most iOS 7 style apps. Let's take a look at the view model to see how easy it is to implement the drawer into your app. So you will have the drawer view model. Just specify the left view model you want to use and the center view model you want to show as the initial navigation. Then we can call this dot open drawer side left to open the left side drawer when the app navigates to this drawer view model. After this, I will show how Crosslight has taken care of most navigation details in a separate sample. So for basic navigation, you can use the view model type to navigate or navigate to the same view model type with identifier or you can navigate by passing a parameter as well. Crosslight also handles model navigation also with transition support. You can also perform nested model navigation, which means you have model navigation but with multiple steps. Crosslight also supports list navigation so that you can easily create master detail apps we have seen earlier easily. Let's try to run this sample on the Windows Phone. Let's perform the same navigation we did earlier in iOS. This is navigating to the same view model but presented with a different view. Navigating with parameter. Model navigation in Windows Phone. Have the slide transition. The flip transition. And also the fade transition. It also supports the nested model navigation we saw earlier. This also applies to Windows RT or Windows 8.
This is all done within the same code base. So as you can see that Crosslight has taken care of navigation details using a single color right from the view model. We have lots more in store, but due to emulator limitations, we only show the supported ones. So what's next? In the first version of Crosslight, we covered a lot of groundwork, such as the MVVM concept, form builders, mobile services, presenters, and others to make sure our framework is rock solid before we move on to the next phase which is the data related services. In the next version of Crosslight, we will have services such as the data access services, which uses SQLite, authentication services, unified push navigation services, async resource loader services, enterprise business templates, so you can easily jumpstart in creating enterprise quality applications within minutes. Also, single sign-on using Facebook and sharing content to social networks. You can find out more about Crosslight from our site. Now, you will have the Q&A session. You can submit questions via the questions panel on the right-hand side of the screen. We also have our panelists, Mr. Jimmy and Mr. Andrew. That will help to answer any questions you have about Crosslight. If you would prefer to submit questions outside the webinar, you can email us at technical at So we have a question from Domingo. How do you create plugins for device-specific functionalities? For example, SQLite wrappers. Or how do you declare IOC dependency injection on each platform? To implement your interfaces. To answer that question, I have just created a sample that can answer your question directly. So, for example, here I'm creating a custom service in the core level. So, I'm creating an i custom service that inherits the i mobile component service. Then in each platform, you would register this service in the App Initializer section. You can add service using this way, service provider dot add service. This one is the implementation of the device specific. If you see here, the, cast, the custom Android services inherits the iCustom service that we defined earlier in the core level. Just inherit the Android mobile component service base and implement the interface. Then just execute your native code here. Same goes to other platforms. For example, iOS. You would inherit the IRS mobile component service base and implement the iCustom service and also iMobile component service. Then in the infrastructure level, in the app initializer, you would do the same. Register the service. Same goes with Windows Phone and Windows 8. I hope that answers your question, Domingo. Any more questions? If you have any licensing questions, you can ask directly. Glad it helped. So we'll wait a couple more minutes then. If there, were, there are no more questions, we'll close this webinar. You can also visit our YouTube channel for more cross-light videos like this. And it's updated weekly. To understand better of Crosslight. If you haven't downloaded a copy of Crosslight, you can do so at intersoftpt.com slash class trial. Crosslight comes with the mobile studio. For licensing and price, 
you can contact sales at interestofpt.com or you can ask in this webinar directly to Martin. So I guess there are no more questions. So we'll close this webinar. And thank you for joining this webinar.